the other week I put this post out on Instagram where I yeah, pretty much had this effect. So a few people had asked how I'd done it and this is just going to be a bit of a walkthrough on how to set this up. And with this technique as well you can kind of use it to create a few other little effects. Here's just like a little bit of a blast and also some circle packing. This is all done with Forge in Cavalry, which is a pro feature. Definitely worth checking out and having a bit of fun with. Cool, I'll just jump into it. If you alt click on the text shape, it'll create something for you in the center. And then we just put these through to center it. And just choose a font that you like. And as you can see here as well, all my text is written in lowercase. So I'm just gonna come in here to the string manipulator and add change string case. So now we just add the capsule around it. So we're just gonna click on our background and click the little plus over here. And we've got the options of padding. So what it's done here is it's created this custom shape. So we're just gonna go into our deformers and then add a bevel. And that bevel can be curved to whatever you want. So I'm just going to go back into here and change this to white as well. So we can also just create our create array from palette and on our custom shape we're just going to drag that in. So we've also just got to add our string array into our text field. Um, if I just disconnect this and cycle through them you can see that that, that background is going to extend and resize which is pretty much what we want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group these two. Just call it text. And I'm just going to pop this into a duplicator. So then you can see here it's just randomized all the text and it's going through the color array. And what we're going to do here is just going to put this onto a point and we're going to animate these on. Click into it and type zero. Okay. And then we just keyframe that and then go up to 100, whatever, and just type in 35. So the, the trick here is just not to go too fast. So basically we just have all these things coming up and now we just have to put this into a Forge Dynamics. However, I'm guessing that I have done that a little too much. So I'll bring this down. That looks a bit better. So I'm just going to click on that and jump into Forge. So if we hit play now. Cool. That's pretty, pretty much it. Um, so we just jump in here and tweak some of these. So we're going to just do 150. And that way there's a bit of lift there. I will lift it up to 250. Cool, and um, with the other shape I had as well, it's just a matter of um, putting a bit of a random onto here. So I'll just put that at maybe 15 and 30. And also something on the radius. I'm not being too precious, never am. And we'll just put our color array back into this one as well and group it and then we're just going to grab our duplicator and put the star into here and also turn that off sorry for some of those words bit of a 90s flashback so for this next project that's pretty much the same concept we're just going to create our ellipse shape and put a random into here. And we're gonna put this at maybe five and this at maybe 15. And if we just group this and again, put it into a duplicator, change it to point start at zero, keyframe it, 
Okay, with our duplicator selected, we can just click on Forge Dynamics and that's popped it in there for us. And it's all animated. And if we just hit play now, you can just see all those bowls have just fallen down. So what I changed in my Forge Dynamics was the gravity. So we just bring this down to zero and unselect everything. And you can just see all the, the bowls are pretty much just like pushing out. It's pretty cool. So within this group, the only thing that was really different is that I actually keyframed the size of these. So I could just start that at five and this at 15, keyframe these quickly. And then here, I'll just change this to 15 and this to um, 50. I don't know why it takes me so long to think of a random number, but hey. And just you can you can just see over time that those balls actually change color. Uh, sorry, change size. So one cool thing you could do on the Forge Dynamics is then add a deformer, and we're going to use Path Offset. And we can just bring this in a little bit. And just hit play again. And you can see it's actually created a bit of a gap between those circles. So yeah, that's just something which I thought was kind of cool to play with. And with this effect as well, you know, you can do other things. So here I've just mocked up like a small particle system. I've just got three shapes in my duplicator, animated that. You can just see it comes up to 25 here. In this setup, I have two Forge Dynamics going. Um, this isn't necessary. I was just um, playing around uh, with a few things. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a, something that you can do though as well as sometimes you have to um, fake a few dynamics um, aspects and just fake that gravity or fake the, the scale of it um, so you can see in the advanced tab you, you've got your your world scale here maybe I actually have them different are oh, slightly different in that instance um, but yeah it's just something something to think about anyway that um, in any kind of animation software or dynamic system there's going to be instances where you just kind of have to fake things and have a few dummy objects or hidden objects to get things looking and um, directed the way you need it to be directed. Cool, so I hope that tutorial has kind of given you a few ideas as to how you can wrangle a few things with Forge and Cavalry. Um, yeah, it's just fun to play around with and, and see what kind of happens. Um, in this instance, I've just shown you one kind of technique with animating that duplicator and three different setups of what you can do. Um, you can download all these files from Gumroad for free and you can just rummage through those and check them out. They might not be the tidiest files you'll see, but uh, they are free. Cool, thanks for watching.